everyone welcome to english tutorial lady this is sunita and today we are going to be learning about the poem the wind by subramanya bharti let us read the poem first wind come soft don't break the shutters of the window don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you threw the pages of the book you brought rain again you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lights crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all he won't do what you tell him so come let's build strong homes let's join the doors firmly practice to form the body make the heart steadfast do this and the wind will be a friend with us the wind blows out weak fires he makes the strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day subramanya bharti it is translated from tamil by ak ramanujan the poem begins as an entreaty and then becomes an expression of vexation at the misbehavior of the wind so in the first stanza the poet says to the wind to come softly it is as if the poet is requesting a child to behave itself when come softly don't break the shutters of the windows so here these are the shutters of the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf there look what you did you threw them all down you threw the pages of the you brought rain again so in this stanza the poet is requesting or entreating the wind to come softly not to break the shutters of the windows because it is very strong and might break the shutters of the windows it is requesting the wind not to scatter the papers we know that he is a poet and writes so he has a lot of books and papers on the table and on the shelf he tells the wind not to throw down the books on the shelf but the wind does not listen to him it throws down the books and the poet tells look what you did you threw them all down the wind tears down the pages and it brings the rain you are very clever at poking fun at weaklings frail crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters so this is a rafter okay the top portion of the roof where the tiles are put crumbling wood crumbling bodies crumbling lives crumbling hearts the wind god winnows and crushes them all so this is a uh, winnow and we know that the winnows are used to separate the husk from the grain so in this stanza the poet is telling that the wind is very clever at poking fun at weaklings those who are weak the wind teases them it crumbles or breaks down the frail weak houses it crumbles weak doors and the rafters or the beams of the roof as we can see here it crumbles the woods and not only crumbles the houses but it also ruins lives by crumbling the bodies and their lives and the hearts it shatters the weak bodies and hearts the poet says the wind god winnows and crushes them all so what does it winnow winnow means separating the husk from the grain just like humans separate the husk from the grain the wind god also separates the strong people from the weak ones and he then ruins and shatters and breaks down the weak people poking fun means making fun weaklings are the weak people frail means weak and delicate frail crumbling houses rafters are the beams on the roof just like we see in this picture winnows here means separates or cuts out so here winnows means separating here it is used as a verb so this is a winnow this is a noun winnow to separate grain from husk he won't do what you tell him so come let's bring strong homes let's join the doors firmly practice to form the body make the heart steadfast do this and the wind god will be friends with us so the poet says that the the wind god is not going to obey our commands it has its own way of doing things so what we can do is to 
built strong homes. Our homes must be very strongly built. Let's join the doors firmly. The doors must be fastened with joints very firmly so that strong winds can't break the doors. Practice to firm the body. So we know that it crumbles bodies. So we must make our bodies strong and make the heart steadfast. Steadfast means committed, dedicated, strong. Okay. So we must make our heart strong and committed and dedicated so we do not break down when the adversities of life come or when we face challenges do this and the wind will be friends with us so here the wind is a symbol of the challenges and the problems and difficulties adversities of life so just like the wind breaks down weak things so the challenges of life breaks down the weak people so what we can do is make our bodies and hearts strong so that we can easily face the challenges of life the poet advises his readers to be prepared for adversities and challenges of life the wind blows out weak fires he makes the strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day so the poet tells that we should be befriending the challenges in life in order to be successful in life. The poet says the wind blows out weak fires. So if one has weak personality, weak body, that person is not going to be able to face the challenges or difficulties in life. But if one has a very strong mindset, a very strong personality and a strong body, then the person will face the challenges and overcome the challenges and in doing so, that person is going to become even more stronger and becoming more stronger is going to enable that person to become very successful in life. So, the wind god or the wind which is the symbol of challenges in life, make the strong fires roar and flourish. As we see, if there is a small fire, then if the wind blows, it will blow out. Uh, it will be extinguished. But if it's a big fire and the wind blows, it is going to flourish and burn even more brightly. Okay. So here, just like the wind makes the big fires roar and flourish, the challenges in life makes the strong people become even more stronger and become successful in life. So friendship with wind is good. Friendship with challenges is good and we praise him every day. So people praise the wind god every day because his friendship is good. If we make friends with the wind or the challenges in life, we are going to become successful in life. Now let us see the literary devices used in this poem. Wind comes softly. Here we see that the wind has been given characteristic of human beings. So there is personification use. Okay? When inanimate objects are given the characteristics of human beings. So the poet says wind comes softly. The poet is addressing an inanimate object. So we, the apostrophe has also been used. Apostrophe is that a literary device when an inanimate object is directly addressed by the poet. So the poet is directly addressing the wind. So apostrophe has also been used. Then we see there is repetition of don't. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. And again, do has been repeated in consecutive lines. You tore the pages of the book. You bought the rent. So anaphora has been used. Anaphora is the literary device when there is repetition of the same word in the beginning of the lines. So we see that in this first uh, few lines, personification has been used, win has been personified, apostrophe has been used, the uh, poet has addressed the wind directly and then anaphora has been used. By. In the, the next few lines, we see that repetition has been used. Crumbling house crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. So there's a lot of repetition of the word crumbling. Then again we see, see alliteration has also been used. Uh, here wind god winnows. Okay, So 
sound has been repeated wind and pinnows uh, in the next few lines is no literary device in. finally we see that symbolism has been used because wind is the symbol of adversities or obstacles in life so these were the literary devices used in the poem hope you liked this video if you did please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you have more queries please put them in the comment box thanks for watching